first of all, not all black men on YouTube say what you just said. Second of all, it doesn't matter who you're going out with or what you're doing. A man is a man. It doesn't matter what race, what age. Unless, you know, you're underage, you can't have an underage man. It doesn't matter what the person is. If you want to find happiness in a green woman, then you go find a green woman. If you want to find happiness in a purple man, then you go find a purple man. But, never say one is better than the other. Never say the other one could be better than this one. Never say this one is no good. There's good and bad in every one. There's good and bad in every race. There's good and bad in every sex. And there's good and bad in every sexuality. I am tired of black women getting on YouTube and dissing black men. So you say, well, how? That's not fair. So I'll fix that. I am tired of women getting on YouTube and dissing men. I brought my horizons and I didn't put no race on it because we're all equal. Now, I am tired of seeing this stuff on YouTube. And I commented about interracial dating. And I said most white guys get mad. And when they want to hurt your feelings, they drop the end bomb. No, that's not true. I have a friend who's been going out with the same sister for over about 11, 12 years now they've been together. The fucked up part about their relationship, I know y'all gonna be mad. I ain't never seen them argue and fight. In any relationship, you hear a woman snapping at a man, a man snapping at a woman. These two people don't argue and fight. They are adult enough within their own minds to have a verbal agreement. You know, we're together. You black and I'm white. We're together. And that's it he don't drop the end bomb she don't call him names no. they don't argue because they found something that is worth keeping why should I be mad at her and why should she be mad at him they got their shit together as far as I can see and a lot of company companies a lot of couples can't put that shit together they fall apart in public. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, girl. She tripped. My woman's tripping today. Oh, he's just got one. He's on his period. I have heard women say that about men. He's just on his period. She's fucking tripping. I don't hear these two people say that shit. They don't argue. And if they do, it's in private. But I have seen some interracial relationships to go bad. My stepmom and my dad used to argue. Nigga, bitch. Throwing shit at each other. I mean, she would drop the end bomb and he would call all kind of bitches and shit and they'd argue and fight and shit and the next day you'll look at him and swear nothing ever happened. So, when women do these videos and they say black guys are always out there talking about how the black woman this and how the black woman that. You can ask Sergeant Willie Pete about the real AIX, and a real AIX is not one of those guys. But this black woman does the same thing as several other black women, or done, has done the same thing that several other black women has done by generalizing black men. That's why you have the Sergeant Willie Pete saying that these black women are lame, lame, lame. Lame? Oh, like they're right on the bottom of the fucking screen. A lot of black women are lame. But a lot of black women are brilliant. A lot of black men are losers. A lot of white guys are losers. A lot of black guys are brilliant, and a lot of white guys are brilliant. See, the thing is, it all depends on where you're at in that mix. You know, I was getting interviewed the other day by somebody, and they asked me, it's like, you're so in tune with this, and you're so in tune with that, but between me and you out there, I didn't want to tell her I'm not really as in tune as you think. But I am in tune. Uh, 
up, tuned up. But you have to look at every individual as an individual. Now, if I had blue eyes and I was in Mexico, I could call myself a Caucasian. Did you know that? I once worked at this place and there was a young Mexican guy named Louie. Well, he wasn't young, he's older than me. And he had the most powerful blue eyes you can see. And in his home country, he was considered Caucasian. Now, me being the man I am, I had to break him down to some harsh realities. In America, you a fucking Mexican, dude. Sorry. Your accent dictates who you are. You're Mexican. Y'all can hear it in your accent. I can see it in your face and your hair. You're Mexican. As far as I'm concerned, he was a Mexican. He went out of his way not to mix with Mexican women. He only talked to the white girls or some of the black chicks. That's my phone going off. But Louis thought he was white. And it wasn't until he got jacked up by the police they told him, you're just another Mexican. And he felt bad because people called him just another Mexican. Now, how would that piss you off? If somebody told you you just another you just another bitch. Instead of saying you just another woman, you're just another bitch with fucking backwards ass, fucking stupid ass way of life thinking. You wouldn't like that shit at all. Nobody would. And um where you at, buddy? I'm at home. Ah oh, shit. Well when I head out I'll come on and pick you up. No, I haven't got my orders yet. All right, so um, I got one phone call. I didn't get any orders, though. He, did, he just told me, oh, man, I just got home from Sears Point where he worked last night. Yeah, so um, yeah, come on by. Come on by, and we'll do something. Then we'll head out. This one will be real quick. Set up the dining room when it's time, and that's it. Come on back. All right, so come on by. Then I'll give you a ride or whatever and drink some cognac or some shit like that. Azteca del Oro. Later. Bye. So, when you say you're asking ask backwards questions, ask yourself this question. In any relationship that you've ever been in, were you happy? And then you write down. Then write down which fields that you were happy in. Every relationship. And then off to the side of that, you write the color of the person. Then, you write the age. And then, based on what you knew about him, or her, you write their intelligence level. So if you get with somebody you think they stupid, they probably are. If you get with somebody and you think they're smarter than you, they may just well be. But do one thing. Learn yourself before you learn anybody else. Because there's a little bit of you in every single person that you, in, you encounter. We are not that much different. Learn who the hell you are before you can tell me or any other man of any other color who they are, how they act. Because from that scale of 1 to 10, that intelligence level, that he treats me good level, that she treats me good level, where do you fit? You'd like to always think that you've done the right thing. Every person does. But understand this. You are no better than the words that you choose to place upon someone else's head. And in saying that, you are the most beautiful person I have ever encountered on the face of the earth. Because without that, you're nothing. I am nothing. And we do not exist. Let's respect each other. Respect each other's wishes. And make sure that everybody can be happy, regardless of what color they are or what sex they may want to indulge in. Thank you for your time. I'm sorry about the phone ringing, but I try to keep it real. And I am the real AIX. 
and you you have been tubed look at that ball spot right there I'm going ball 